How forgiveness can transform your life. What's up everyone? In today's video, we're talking about a topic that can be really difficult, but is so important for living a fulfilling life. Forgiveness. Holding on to past hurts, grudges, and resentment holds us back from true happiness and inner peace. I learned this lesson the hard way in my early 20s when I went through a bad breakup. I want this video to help anyone struggling with anger and bitterness to understand the incredible power of forgiveness. Implementing true forgiveness can transform every area of your life. Let's get into it. Section 1. Why we hold grudges. To start, it's important to understand why we hold on to grudges in the first place. Here are some of the key reasons. It gives us a sense of control by holding something over the person who hurt us. It helps us avoid feeling emotional pain and vulnerability from the hurt. We want justice and to see the person suffer in some way. We use it to reinforce our victim identity and get validation from others. It provides a justification to treat the person poorly in return. But while grudges may feel justified and protect us in the short term, long term they become toxic and destroy us from within. Section 2. Impact of Unforgiveness Let's talk about some of the ways holding grudges and failing to forgive hurts you and your life. Emotional turmoil, anger, bitterness, resentment trap you in negativity. Physical effects, stress, anxiety, depression weaken the immune system. Lost connections. People don't want to deal with your drama and negativity. Lose sight of blessings, focus only on sources of bitterness. Stunt personal growth. Stuck obsessing over the past instead of improving yourself. Reduce success. Lack of inner peace blocks professional accomplishments. The bottom line is unforgiveness causes suffering that spreads into every area of your life. The person you're hurting the most is yourself. Section 3. What true forgiveness is. Now, what does true forgiveness actually look like? Here are some keys. It's a choice and process doesn't happen instantly, but through deliberate effort over time. It's unconditional. You forgive even if they don't apologize or change. Release anger and resentment. These are diminished and eventually eliminated. Effort to understand. You try to see their side and why they hurt you. Wish them well. You hope they experience healing too. Accept what can't be changed. The past is in the past. Draw boundaries if needed. Protect yourself, but without bitterness. Forgiveness brings freedom. You become at peace with what happened, even if you can never forget it. Section 4. How to practice forgiveness. Okay, ready to start practicing real forgiveness in your life. Here are some tips. Self-reflection. Take time to identify your inner pain and who you need to forgive. Recognize hurt. Acknowledge specific ways you were wronged or mistreated. Write a letter. Express your emotions and pain on paper. Even if you don't send it, pray for them. Bring their struggles and desires before God. Imagine role reversal. If you'd hurt them the same way, how would you want to be treated? Perform an act of kindness. Do something thoughtful for them without expectation. Visualize letting go of resentment. Imagine it physically floating away from you. Speak words of forgiveness. Say I forgive you for. Out loud. With consistent practice, you can free yourself from past hurts through the power of forgiveness. Section 5. Objections to Forgiveness I know what some of you might be thinking. Forgiveness seems impossible for what I went through. I want to address some common objections. They don't deserve it. Forgiveness isn't excusing what they did, but for your peace. The hurt is too deep. Feelings fade over time, and forgiveness accelerates healing. They'll just hurt me again. Draw clear boundaries if needed for self-protection. I'll look weak. True strength is controlling your emotional state and letting go. 
Resentment feels better. Long-term resentment poisons you. Forgiveness liberates you. I need justice first. Justice is important. But don't let bitterness hold you hostage. Let these perceptions go. They are traps that prevent your freedom. Forgiveness is possible for all hurts. Section 6. Benefits of Forgiveness Now let's highlight some of the incredible benefits that come with true forgiveness. Less stress, anxiety and depression, improved self-esteem and confidence, stronger relationships and connections with others, a sense of freedom from the past hold on you, increased mental clarity and focus, better physical health and reduced pain, greater purpose and appreciation for life, overall increase in happiness and inner peace. Forgiveness delivers powerful physical, emotional and spiritual changes that can transform your quality of life. Section 7. Final thoughts. Well, I hope this video has opened your mind to the incredible power of forgiveness. Even if it seems difficult, here are some final thoughts to remember. Forgiveness is a gift you give yourself first, not just the other person. Approach it incrementally if needed. Small acts of letting go will accumulate. Feelings follow actions. Making the choice to forgive precedes emotions. It's a lifelong practice. You can always get better at forgiveness. True forgiveness brings freedom from past hurts, anger, and regret. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you're dealing with any situation where you need to practice forgiveness. Your emotions are valid, but don't have to control you. Wishing you all peace on your journey.